Hello, thanks for checking out Mr. Weir's videos. And today we're looking at linear inequality, inequality systems graphically. So we're going to graph some uh, inequalities and look at a system of um, like what are the solutions for both inequalities. So previously we did systems of just linear equations and those would have like one point for a solution for both equations. But with a system of inequalities, uh, you could have a whole lot of different points. So what we're going to do is uh, graph both inequalities, and I'm going to show you the, uh, the possibility of all the points, and we're going to pick out one and say that's the answer. So let's take a look at this first example. All right, here I've got y is greater than 1 half x minus 4. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just regularly graph it. I go to the y-intercept, I got negative 4, and then I got my slope, which is 1 half, so I'll go up 1 and over 2, and then I'm getting ready to draw my line. So because it is a greater than, I'm sorry, because it's not equal to, we're going to use a dash line. A dash line. It's not equal to, so we use a dash line. Okay? Alright, and then the next thing we want to do is look at the fact that it's greater than. Oh, I'm going to come back to the greater than part later. I'm going to come back to that. But first, let's go ahead and graph the other one. Alright, so here we're going to do negative 7, which is our y-intercept for our next graph. And then we're going to look at the slope. The slope is negative 1 over 1. So I'll go down 1 and to the right 1. Because it's negative x, so that's negative 1 over 1. Didn't have a lot of space to write that out. Negative 1 over 1. So I go down one to the right one, and then I draw that line. That was also a um, not equal to, so we use a dash line. All right. Now, going back to the red one here, because it's greater than, I'm going to shade up. I'm going to go up, okay? Just shade up. And that's the reason I did it late is because I wanted to draw where that blue line is supposed to be first. So I've got that in there. And now I'm shading up for the red one. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to look at the blue one. The blue one is also a greater than. So I shade up from the blue line as well. Alright. So you got a lot of shaded going around here. So you got the red that's going this way. And then you got the blue that's going this way. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is where they overlap at. So you see how they overlap in this area here? So this, this red part on the outside is not part of the solution. This blue part is not part of the solution. But where they overlap is. So I could pick any point inside this green, red, and blue area here. And I just happen to pick 3, 3 here. So that's my point, and that's what I type in for my answer. Delta math would accept any point that's in here. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and graph the first one here. So I'm with the y-intercept, negative 8. I've got the slope, which is 1. So that means I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 1. Okay. And I'm going to draw the line. Now this time it's an equal to. So I drew, I drew a solid line. Okay. And. Now I'm going to do the next one here. Alright. So I've got negative 1. For my y intercept. And I've got a slope of negative 1 over 6. So I'm going to go down 1. And to the right 6. And then I'm going to draw that line. It's also a solid line. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to the red one here. And since it is greater than, I'm going to shade up. Up, because it's greater than. Alright, now with the blue one here, I'm going to shade down because it is less than. Okay. And then the shaded in region where they overlap, I can pick any point in between there. Now, let me make this point. 
Uh, you see how sometimes you have a dashed line, sometimes you have a solid line. If you have a solid line, you could pick a, a point that's on that solid line that overlaps. But if it's a dashed line, you can't pick that. So just to be safe, always pick something in the middle uh, in between your two lines. But the solid lines mean it's part of the solution. And the dashed line means that line is not part of the solution. Just keep that in mind. So I can pick any point in there. I happen to pick negative 4, negative 4. So that's my point. And that's it. And that is how you do a system of inequality. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.